In this tip and trick, we're going to have a look at creating a an iPod from scratch um, and utilizing parameters on the fly. I've done a little uh, video on this before, um, so let's have a look. The idea is we can go in and we can start drawing up our sketch. Um, just model this up like that. And we're going to start adding dimensions to this. And straight away, we're going to start naming things. So we're going to call this H diameter. And you say that's equal to 50. And this one over here, we'll make S diameter. And we'll make that equal to 25. Notice there's no spaces in my parameter names. I'm using underscores. OK. Uh, another handy tip is while you're in here, you can right click on your screen. Um, <laughs> Make sure you're not in your dimension tool. And you can then go dimension display and say expression. This will now show me what my parameters are named. It makes sometimes identifying my sketches a bit easier. Right, uh, from here, I might want to go and then extrude out, say, this value here. And um, we'll call this our S value. So we'll say S length is equal to let's say 25 and we're going to use that sketch again we'll just turn that on very quickly and we'll extrude those two profiles there and we'll say h length is equal to 10 or let's say 15 okay i can turn that sketch off right i've now got a very basic part uh, maybe just to make it a bit more interesting we'll add a fillet on there and inside of here we'll say fillet is equal to 5. Right so we've got a basic little component and what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this into an iPod and we're actually going to add parameters to it but before we do that let's just have a look at the parameters that are in here already. So see we've got H diameter, S diameter, S length, D3, H length, D5 and fillet. D3 and D5 are zero degrees and those are the tapers that are specified in our um, extrusion so every extrusion we do has a taper in there which we haven't specified we're leaving those as zero right at this stage on our manage panel up here um, we're going to go straight to create ipod and click on create ipod and you'll see because we've named these parameters they're already listed over here for us so there's um, part 201 part 201 h diameter S diameter, S length, H length, and fillet. And from here, we can just go and insert rows. Okay. Um, if you rename this part, it's going to come up with a little message saying that you've renamed the file. That's fine. So we're going to call this one 50. Okay. And you'll see there's my little file name that comes up. That's fine. Next one, we'll make 75. And then we'll go 100. And we'll go 125. Right. Part numbers say so 1234 dash. 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, dash 75, 1, 2, 3, 4, dash 100, and 1, 2, 3, 4, dash 1, 2, 5. Okay, right, we're now going to adjust some of these figures, so we'll make that one 75, 100, and 125. Our S diameters, we're going to make half of those. Now, you don't have to worry about any of the math or figuring anything out. I'm just putting in the number divided by 2. Now, I know these are very easy numbers, but it's just the example. Um, and we'll make that 1, 2, 5 divided by 2. Right, next one, our S length over here. Um, we'll make that the same as that one there. So we're just going to say 75 over 2, 100 over 2. And one two five over two. On our H length, we can increase these if we want. So we'll make that one say twenty. Uh, we'll make that one twenty five, and we'll make this one thirty. And similarly, similarly with the fillets, we can increase these as well. So we'll make that one say eight, and let's go twelve and fifteen. Right, so those could be the sizes we wanted. We're quite happy with that. We can say OK. And what will happen is in our list over here, we'll have a table, which you can expand. And you'll see there are sizes. So 50, 75, 100, and 125. And as I click on these, 
our new components will be generated for us. That is a very quick way of creating an iPod. And what we can do with this component is we can now create a new assembly, perhaps. Uh, so let's create a new standard assembly. And if I put this component in here, as soon as I drag it in, what will happen is I now get a table. Okay, so it comes up and it actually says to me, well, what values would I want? Um, you know, what what's the actual component that I'm looking for? Um, and I can actually go in here and I can say, well, actually, I want the 50. Um, so there's the part number there for the 50. And I'll say, okay. And then it'll come. Uh, you'll notice it's number 50 over there. And if I compare that back, that's 50 over there. And that's a very basic look at creating iPods. Thanks very much.